Yeah, my name is Ofor Chikozo Charles Icon or Professor Dr. Chikozo Charles Ofor, PhD, Esquire. As well, I shall be discussing the secret of online universities. I've taken my time to look at people's online universities. There are some errors there. So I decided to correct it as someone that school in um, online school, one of my schools. In fact, I've, I've gotten many certificates online. I think I've gotten over 50 certificates. But most of them are, or what they call the certificate programs. I think I got one, I still got one in one of the open universities in the world. But I want to let you know that once you want to start um, your, this is, I, sorry, I even got one degree in, in open university. And I want to let you know that once you want to do this thing, once you want to start a university, you should first of all check, once you want to start any online university, first of all check yourself. What, how did online university start? Online university started from Open University UK. So you should take note of that. How did they start? They started a situation whereby they were looking for solutions for people who are not able to school due to because they don't have money and because they are working. So they are looking for solution. That was how open, that, that, that was how online invest started. And online investing they target ODL or ODE. ODE stands for Open and Distant Learning Program. ODE stands for Open and Distant Learning Education. Open and Distant Education. So that's how it started. Then what is the most important thing in online university, which is ODL or ODE, is course material. Every course you are doing must have course material because their aim is that they are not even fancy facilitators. They call they call their lecturer facilitators. They call their uh, their lecturer facilitators or tutors. They call uh, or their, their lecture. They call it facilitation or tutoring. So they don't even fancy lecturing or facilitation or tutoring. What they what, what, what they fancy most and what they value most is the material. And the material must be designed in open and distant learning way, or open and distant learning program way. In the sense that the material will contain what we call one course guide. That course guide will, will guide that material. But if you need to, if maybe just say maybe you don't, you don't have the time or to do course, you can do what is called general course guide. Then after that course guide, the first thing that comes there is another guide again, just a little guide, okay? After that guide, the you now see the introduction. After the introduction of the, the, the topic of the book, you see objectives of the study, or aims and objectives. After that, you get the main topic. Then after that, at the end, either at the end of every subject, at the end of every topic, or at the end of that material, you should be able to do or conclude your work. After the conclusion of your work, you should be able to do what? Summarize it. Then after summarizing, you should have what is called tutor marked assignment or assessment that should, students should be taking because the aim of the, of the, the, the online university is for students who are studying it. They don't even fancy facilitation. As in what, whatever they are doing, so they can learn. As in the aim is for you to, another thing that you should summarize your work in that place. And you should not just summarize that material. You should, you should use the simple, simple English so that they feel that it can be understandable, not something that will just um, be blowing grammars, the situation whereby people will not understand. No, that is not the aim of online university. That is why the course material is very important, so that once, once, once they start the school, he pushed all those, those materials for them, they should be reading it on their own and be understand. Anyone they don't understand, since the time they will now consult what is called lecture tape or lecture CD. It is maybe if you can you can you can equally put it maybe in your YouTube or anywhere or you put it in tape or you send it or anywhere that you know that it's very uh, easy for you. Then another important one is you should have a lecturer and a lecturer is a lecturer which which they call facilitator. A facilitator should be able to do one that must be disposed or expose his contact both email address and the phone numbers. So that students will be contacting him or her whenever they have issues in reading that particular material that the school has been designed for that course. So what am I saying? Let me give an example. If you're maybe if you're doing maybe something like law, what's that? 
that legal method, legal system, use of English, and it, all of them must have their own material. Each one, each one, those subjects or those courses you're doing under that particular program must have their own material. So once the student register, you issue that material to the student to start learning. So it is from there you can now examine that student. But if that student has issue, the issue you should be able to give the student the facilitator's number to contact. The other thing again you should give the student which is not that mandatory is lecture notes or lecture tape that the lecturer might, might have voiced out and sent but the most important thing the least accreditation the least one for accreditation for, for, for online university that you must have that material for that particular course you claim to be doing that is that is that is quality way of doing it then and that, uh, and that, and that the second quality way of doing or practicing online university is you having that um, lecturer's um, um, tape. If you don't have lecturer tape, you should have lecturers that should lecturing that lecturing or facilitating that course. In in, in, in in online university, they don't call it facilitation. They don't call it um, lecturing. They call it facilitation. Teaching. They call it facilitation because facilitation means assisting. It doesn't mean lecture. No, the difference between teaching, lecturing, facilitation, or tutorial. There are four different words. So the most important one is here is facilitation. Facilitation means assistance. You are assisting. You should be able to assist that student that have issue. So that is the aim of online university. So we should be careful if we are saying we are practicing online university. So I believe that this my video will reach accreditation bodies, international accreditation bodies, for them to take note of how open, how online university should be. Done. Thank you. I still remain to close that support. Please share, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you.